people can apologize shallowly just to escape from the trouble of the situation. So I think a deeper question related to your question is, what are the necessary steps that you must undertake if you are going to utter an apology that is going to be taken seriously? And I would say, you have to give the devil his due. You know, you have to ask yourself what it was that motivated you to act inappropriately or to speak inappropriately. You have to admit that to yourself. That's hard. You know, because it might be reflective of a fairly major flaw in your character. Um, then you have to tell the other person really what you did wrong and why. And you have to do that in a way that indicates to them that you've grappled with the problem and that you now understand it. And then you have to offer to them a plan for how you're going to change your conduct in the future that's detailed and specific. And then you have to ask them if they're willing under those conditions to set the to reset the scorecard to zero and let you try again. Now, obviously that's necessary because if we can't forgive each other, we're all ruined because every single one of us makes stupid mistakes all the time. And no relationships can sustain themselves because we're all going to, we all know that we hurt the people we love, you know, continually. And so if we don't have that capacity for repentance and forgiveness, we can't even maintain our relationships. Um, on a practical note, one of the things you can do that's actually useful, let's say if you had a fight with your wife, we'll just use that as an example, you can ask her, look, what would I have to say in, in order for you to feel, what would you say, capable of forgiving me, willing, willing to and capable of forgiving me? And she might say, well, you know, if I have to tell you what to say, then it doesn't really mean anything and it doesn't come from you. But the right rejoinder to that is, look, I'm kind of stupid and I, I don't have a special insight into what you need. And if you tell me what would satisfy you, I can at least then think about whether or not I can, I can put myself in accord with that demand and if I can offer that to you. And if I can't, at least I know what direction to aim in. It's really helpful when you when someone's hurt you, but you want to keep your relationship with them, to ask them what their conditions for satisfaction are. So those are some practical hints with regard to, you know, pouring oil on troubled waters.